And also it's this time of year, it's the um, start of Strictly Come Dancing. Any memories from last year you want to forget? I don't want to forget, no, I love it. I mean, I was watching it on Saturday night and, you know, I was crying with laughter at the hairy biker, Dave. You know, that's what it's all about. You know, those that can dance properly in week one, you know, they're going to go a long way, but for me it's about the entertainment and the hairy biker's my vote, he's my favourite. Well, I, I remember watching you because it's, it's great for cricketers to, 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 see, to see you perform last year. And you came on a long way. It was a lot of hard work there. Yeah, I mean, you have to put the hours in. You have to uh, kind of commit yourself to the, the show for seven, eight, nine. I managed to last ten weeks. And, you know, I, I, I prefer watching, I must admit, this year. Now I know exactly what they go through and exactly what that Saturday is all about. You know, it's quite nice for me to sit on the sofa with a glass of red wine and and kind of laugh at everyone these days. And do a bit of tweeting. What was, what was it like um, at Wembley in front of, I don't know, 10,000, 12,000 people? Well, funnily enough, that was the best week because, you know, it was like playing a game of cricket. When you're in a studio with only three or 400 in there, it felt kind of on top of you. It felt kind of a bit claustrophobic. But when you get to Wembley and there's 10,000, that's the buzz that we know about. So I felt a lot more relaxed at Wembley.